welcome to Sevenside Parishes and our service for the third Sunday in Advent. Come, let us rejoice before God. Let us honour the name of the Most High. God has looked on us and brought us to be a people of light, celebrating the light. Our souls magnify God. Blessed is the name of God forever. Let us lift up holy hands, be glad and forever proclaim the wondrous story. Amen. So we come to the lighting of our third Advent candle. Set your feet firmly on the ground. Open your mouth and sing. Sing, sing to bless, bless the Lord, Lord who, who is in our midst. midst. Here is our song, a triumphant light against the long shadows. With, With joy, joy we, we sing. sing. Oh. 
So let us reflect and offer our confession to God. Forgive us, O God. Forgive, Forgive us, we, we pray. pray. Too easily we give in to fear and we forget to sing your praise. Pour your joy over us and renew our hope. Forgive us, O God. Forgive, Forgive us, us, we pray. Too easily we doubt our strength to do your work. Pour your song over us to wash away our shame and hesitation. Forgive us, O God. Forgive, Forgive us, we, we pray. pray. Too easily we forget to see ourselves and one another in your image. Pour your love over us so that we recognise your beauty in our midst. Forgive us, O God. And, and restore, restore us, we, we pray. pray. Amen. Jesus, Son of God, Son, Son of Mary, you came amongst us baptising with fire and light calling us to true vocation of humanity, to reflect the glory of our Creator. We thank you for your work amongst us, how you gathered, how you spoke, how you ate and drank, how you left us your spirit, to lift us up and to hold us in the light. We praise you because you came to us and keep coming to us, forgiving and restoring because of your great love. Amen.
the collect for today. God, for whom we watch and wait, you sent John the Baptist to prepare the way of your son. Give us courage to speak the truth, to hunger for justice and to suffer for the cause of right with Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Today's reading is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 6 to 8 and then 19 to 28. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He only came as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. Now, this was John's testimony when the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to ask him who he was. He did not fail to confess, but confessed freely. I am not the Messiah. They asked him then, who are you? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you a prophet? He answered, no. Finally, they said, who are you? Give us an answer to take back to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? John replied in the words of Isaiah the prophet, I am a voice of the one calling in the wilderness, make straight the way for the Lord. Now the Pharisees who have been sent questioned him, then why do you baptise if you're not the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? I baptise with water, John replied, but among you stands one you do not know. He is the one who comes after me, the thongs of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. This all happened at Bethany on the other side of the Jordan where John was baptising. It is the third Sunday of Advent, but yet with the reading this week, it still seems that we're not close to the Christmas story. In fact, it might even appear we're nowhere near it. We've not had Jesus mentioned yet, and he's not directly mentioned today. Instead, the lectionary reading continues to look at John the Baptist, who he is, but also who he's not. There is a word in German called Doppelganger, which literally means double goer, or to put it into English, a lookalike. John was causing confusion amongst the Pharisees and the Sadducees. He was doing things that caused those at the time to believe he was the one that they'd been waiting for, the one that was prophesied about it in the scriptures they were reading. He, however, makes it very clear. His actions point towards the one who is to come. And I suppose this has got me thinking about how much do our actions and our lives point towards Jesus? How much gets our neighbours and our friends asking us the questions about why do we choose or not to do certain things? How much are we Jesus' doubleganger? then if we do get to ask why, what is our response? We're not wanting people to follow us. John didn't want people to follow him. He was always pointing people towards Jesus who was to come. Are we brave enough to do that? I think we have to be. Ultimately, it isn't just Christians who do good works. Therefore, we have to point towards Jesus with both our words and our actions. So this Christmas, can I encourage you to be bold when we get the chance with those that we do life with? Let's point them towards Jesus, not just with our actions, but also our words. Amen. We now take some time to say our prayers of intercession. We pray today for all who are downtrodden, all who are oppressed, all who know the heavy hand of marginalisation on them. God, we turn to you, remembering the words of Mary, praying that you will lift up the lowly, you will raise the voice of justice, and you will scatter oppression. 
May all who are oppressed be set free. Make your ways known upon the earth, Lord God, your saving power among all peoples. Renew your church in holiness and help us to serve you with joy. Guide the leaders of this and every nation that justice may prevail throughout the world. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Make us instruments of your peace and let your glory be over all the earth. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray that we might find rhythms of life that sustain us here, rhythms for cultivating and renewing the earth, human community, justice and creativity. Lord God, you hold both heaven and earth in a single piece. Let the design of your great love shine on the waste of our anger and sorrow and give peace to your church, peace among nations, peace in our homes and peace in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. And so we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So as we gather around the Lord's table, let us declare our faith. We believe and trust in God the Father Almighty, 
We believe and trust in Jesus Christ, his Son. We believe and trust in the Holy Spirit. We believe and trust in the three in one. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation, because in your love you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced embraced us as as your your children children, and and welcomed us to sit and and eat eat with you. In Christ you shared our life, that we might live in him and he in us. He He opened opened wide his arms of love upon upon the cross and and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night that he was betrayed, at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, Father, we do do this this in remembrance of of him. His His body body is is the the bread bread of of life. life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, Father, we we do do this this in remembrance of him. His His blood blood is shed for all. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voices to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy, holy, holy Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Sacrifice, you became nothing, poured out to death. Many times I wondered at your gift of life. I'm in that place once again. I'm in that place once again. And once again, I look upon the cross where you died. I'm humbled by your mercy and I'm broken inside Once again I thank you, once again I pour out my life Let us pray. God, for whom we watch and wait, you sent John the Baptist to prepare the way of your son. Give us courage to speak the truth, to hunger for justice, and to suffer for the cause of right, with Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gathered in, Lord, we have been nurtured by your spirit of life. Now sent out, we go in the assurance that your word lasts forever, and your promises are true. Let the lowly be lifted up, let the hungry be fed, let the mighty listen. God, who is merciful, hears all. Come, let us go in the blessed joy of God's kindness. Amen, amen, amen. 